Okay, guys. So what I'm going to show you is how we make the dosing bucket. So a dosing bucket is used to add any nutrients to the system, acids or buffers. Now the reason that we use a bucket or a dosing bucket is to slowly release that nutrient or acid into my system over a period of time. If you add something too quickly, you can shock the bacteria, you can harm the fish. Does that make sense? So the way a dosing bucket looks is we get a 20 liter bucket, we have a water inlet, and we have a water outlet. At the bottom, we have a piece of air tube to provide air. And that here is connected to my air pump. All right. The reason we have this air tube at the bottom is to agitate the water to stop any uh, nutrients settling on the bottom. Water here will have a tap. So we'll control that water coming in. So it'll come in quite slowly. And what happens is it will mix and come out the top. So what comes out is nicely diluted. So that's the purpose. And you can well have a couple of them in your system and one of them might be used to slowly counteract the acidity and or your pH of the system and the other could be used to add, be adding iron or potassium or calcium whatever else you're in the, the system so a lot of people don't have them but they're very very useful and very simple to construct so as you can see you need a bucket you need some airline you connect it to your air system and you connect it to an existing water flow system so let's just have a quick look at actually how we make it. Here's my... Sorry, where was sorry? the water be connected to? Would it be anywhere in the system? Yeah, normally it will be connected to a pump or on the gravity flow. It's completely up to you. So here's my bucket that I'm going to use, a 20 litre bucket. Um, my air tube to make a little bit of an air line at the bottom. Some lead to hold my air line down. And then the last thing is my favourite grommet and a little connector. So often you buy the grommets and the connectors. Um, and so what we're going to do is put my grommet and my outlet on my bucket. So I'm going to drill a hole in order to put my grommet in. So I get a hole saw and a drill. The hole saw, I'm going to measure that it's going to be a little bit smaller than my grommet. If it is too big, my hole saw is too big, my grommet will leak if my hole is too small, my grommet's not going to fit. Okay, so I'm looking about four-fifths up on my bucket is where I want my outlet to be. So there's my hole. My grommet pushes in like that. Huh? It's around the corner. Yeah. And my connector pushes in. And as my connector goes in, it pushes that grommet out. And now I can actually connect my pipe from here. Typically goes into my DWC. <coughs> Oh, you got a small piece. Brilliant. So here's a small piece of air tube, um, an end cap, just a 12 millimeter end cap, pushes on. And again, the reason I like air tube is it's going to provide a nice big aeration surface to, to mix my whole water instead of an air stone, which will just mix a little bit in the middle. That's my little airline, 
all I need to do is connect that to my air pump with a little tap of course to regulate my inlet is literally going to come in over the top of my bucket and drip in okay so that's my dosing bucket again probably cost me less than 60 bucks 70 bucks to make very cheap very easy very cheap okay any questions on that so th this will now be whatever fish waste you drain no, no, no. That will be my mineralization bucket. Okay, it should it be separate. It's exactly the same. Okay. Just no inlets, no outlets necessarily. Yeah. Um, because what I'll do is I'll just pour my yeah, nutrients but we can, in. You can have it exactly the same with a tap. Just to yes. make it easier. And just open the tap and it will yeah, feed the... The, the, the biggest difference... So, if let's say I wanted a mineralization bucket. I'd probably have an outlet somewhere around here above where my sludge settles. Okay, above, yeah. above where my sludge settles so then I can drain off that liquid okay. into my system if I want. Also if I make a Dutch bucket, <coughs> the only difference between this and a Dutch bucket is my outlet's at the bottom as opposed to the top. Mm. But, the, but obviously for a dosing bucket, my outlet's at the top so my water stays full in the bucket all the okay. time. Yeah. All right. Happy. This is just part of the system is running. Oh, and then all of a sudden you need to add nutrients. You add it and you just carry it. It allows you to dilute and slowly release nutrients. I mean, the way I've always said, or the way I've looked at it is, if I take my 20 vitamins one day a week, it's probably a lot worse than taking a vitamin each day. So the slow release in your system is a lot better than trying to shock it with one big additive yeah okay happy I'm just trying to understand wh why on your uh, mineralization bucket do you need to have it lower because I because mean, the sludge is going to go down your your water might be wherever so no no so what I'll do is once my mineralization is complete yeah you want the I need to <laughs> drain that water out yeah into a dosing bucket. Okay, if it's too high, obviously, okay, if it's too high, you're going to be left with too much water still at the bottom. All your nutrients at the, yeah, in the bucket okay, still. Okay, it's just going to take the top and then you have to scoop out the rest. Yeah, so, I so when I show you our mineralization yeah. buckets, they're fixed. I put my fish waste in. Yeah. When the process is complete, I turn my tap on, mm. drain it into a dosing bucket. Yes. The dosing bucket then slowly releases it into my system. Okay, yeah, no, no, it makes sense, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because otherwise you're going to get less of water if it's too high. Correct. Yeah. Okay, happy. So, what I suggest is we get team A working on the air, getting air to this bucket, to my little air diffuser, and team B can focus on actually uh, getting the water supply to my bucket. Is it easier just to put a 90 here so it's flat and then coming up? You or can. It, it, say, it works the same way. <coughs> you can. You can put a 90 on there. But okay. it's going to pretty much, because of my flexibility, I can still okay. give it... Because of the weight? Yeah. Okay. If I wanted it's, to. It's less... Uh... Yeah. Okay. All right. And those who want to go watch the rugby can go watch the rugby. But let's have a few guys. Whoever doesn't want to watch the rugby is welcome to come and play and get this bucket connected. always catch up on the rugby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'll show you a couple tricks on the uh, connecting up the, the water also.